Anand and I am from SMART. Uh, we are going to today demonstrate uh, our PAX for solution with the GPRS connectivity and USB functionality. Now, uh, the basic focus of this presentation is to show that how uh, the price computing scales or the POS scales that we have developed can easily be connected to the internet to update uh, the pricing from a central server or probably you know, connect a USB pen drive to simply load the prices onto the uh, scale which is in a very uh, ease of fashion. Ok, we start directly to the presentation and I would like to bring your attention here. What we have here is a, a POS price computing scale uh, which is connected uh, to a GSM modem and uh, for the sake of simplicity what we've done is that we have removed the modem from within the scale and we have brought it here. There is a red light that is uh, blinking here. I am sure if you can see that, Pankaj, uh, uh, you can bring the, this thing close to this one and there is a red light that blinks here. What we've also done is that we've connected the system to it to a PC. Now the PC is only for uh, showing you what is happening in the background. There is no role of the PC. When this thing connects to the uh, internet, it is going to be completely independent of uh, the PC. The PC has no role to play. This thing is could be there, uh, is, is presently there only to show you what is happening in the background. Also, what we have is a USB connectivity. Uh, what we have is a USB connectivity. Here we have a USB pen drive and uh, this pen drive is being connected onto the scale. This can be used to read the prices. This, uh, this has an Excel file with all the prices uh, in the way Mother Dairy is presently doing it and it can be simply hooked onto it and you can load the prices. Okay, so we start off with, uh, we start off with showing the, um, the GPRS uh, functionality for the first time and you know how this thing is working. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you that you know we have, uh, we have uh, the prices that are updated already. So you know we keep uh, some object out here on top of this thing. Okay, let me get hold of a weight. One second. Okay, so we have a uh, piece of weight here which uh, shows here and it shows 2 kg and it is showing 35.80. The price of Apple is 17.9 rupees and what we do is that we are going to see the next PLU. The next PLU is Pareto with a price of 19.90, maybe the third PLU which is Onion. So let's say we do the deletion of the process. We go function 9. This asks me a password to delete the uh, prices and I am going to erase all the prices that are now existing in the system. Okay, press the tear button and it's going to wait for a while. In about 20 seconds, uh, the, all the prices in the scale are going to be deleted and it is going to be uh, waiting for it. This is, I'm showing you, you don't have to do this uh, process on a daily basis because the, once the prices are being downloaded, they're going to be overwritten. And this is only to show that all right, you know, whole thing, how the whole thing is working. Now when I press 1, PLU which shows no name, that is there is no existing item, 2 PLU no name, 3 PLU no name, you just saw that there were apple, potato and onions on each of these PLUs. Alright, two. How now we should go on to see how easy it is to update uh, uh, you know, the, the prices from the internet. So what we have is basically we have a small piece of Excel file, uh, something like this. Well, wherein all the prices are being there. We have uh, the, the price, uh, the names of the items are similar to what the names are for Mother Dairy. So we have apple, potato, onion and so on all listed here. And uh, we're going to see what is going to happen when I connect the system to the, uh, to the internet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press a button. Uh, you can come closer Pankaj. And I said press function N6. Okay, oops. That function 6. Now as soon as I press function in 6 you can see there is, a, there is an activity which is going on the background. Now we are showing the screen to show what is happening on the background of the scale. These are the PLUs that are now being downloaded from the internet. Now it's waiting, it is processing the data and after the processing completes it's going to come back to the weighing mode. And we saw, we saw that all the prices were cleared. Now we again come back. It took about 20 seconds to download the almost 200, 250 PLUs from the internet and we press 1 and PLU, there you see the prices are 1790 back on it. The prices 
two PLU uh, is potato, three PLU is onion. All right, so what we do is that, uh, and we can see that, okay, one PLU, the apple was showing, whatever the price was 35.8, it's showing it's still the same. Let's do one thing, let's update the prices on the internet. So what I do here is, uh, you can, we can see that I'm gonna be downloaded, this is on an FTP server, all the files where it's updated. I'm going to download this file called PLU uh, CSV on my computer. Okay, there I do this thing and let me close the old file. Okay, I've closed the old file. I download this particular file. It's asked me whether I need to override this original file. I said yes. So, what I've done is I've downloaded the old file from the internet. The file has successfully come on my system and I press one, this is the particular file which is there or the prices are presently prevalent. Let me change, let me change for simplicity's sake, let me say if Apple 1 was changed to Apple 2, Apple 2 and let's see what this change comes here or not and let's say, say the price was 17.90, I changed the price to 22.10, let's say potato was now instead of 19.90 it is about 21 rupees, uh, onion was 9 rupees 90 pesa, I'm going to change it to 8 rupees 21 pesos, 8 rupees 20 pesos. Okay, so I'm going to be doing only these three changes right now and I'm going to save. It asked me whether to save the file. You see, we're using Excel out here and I said yes. And we're going to close this file now and I say you made changes. I said yes, that's complete. Now, what I'm going to do is that the saved file is now, I'm going to be uploading this particular file from uh, my PC. So, where is BLU? Now this thing, there we are, there is a file and I upload this file onto the net. On uploading it asks me that whether I override the new file, so I said yes, override it. And now the new file is there. Now the items that are there should be that uh, we, the items that we've loaded is, we've changed Apple. You see the price, uh, the item here is still Apple and we've changed it to Apple 2 of the server and we've also changed the price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again pull the prices from the net and this could be uh, again ad hoc or it could be uh, you know uh, demand based. It, we could also set up a, a regular interval maybe every day 6 o'clock in the morning. The system automatically checks with the internet whether the new prices are available or we could set up an alarm from the SMS server saying that alright in, in, uh, update the prices immediately. So let me say I'm going to update function 6. And again, we look at the back end, what, what starts happening on the back end. You see, it is now again fetching the data. It has got connected. It is fetching the new file and the data is being downloaded. The, this data is whatever, again, I repeat, this is only the background. I'm showing you what is happening in the background. The actual activity is happening within the scale. And now we're back. Once we now again do it, one PLU, we see that Apple was changed to Apple 2 and the price has changed to 22.10, which means that it has picked up the prices and you see it's happened only in a less than matter of 30 seconds the price is downloaded. We also changed the rate of item 2 which was changed from I think 19 rupees 21 rupees we changed the price of third item onion from 9 rupees 90 pesos to about 8 rupees 20 pesos. So you see all those changes have been implemented. Now so all this thing happened with a small modem that went into the system and there's a complex piece of software that is running on the background and doing things. And now, okay, now this is just one option. The other option we've implemented in the new PAW scale is that uh, we've incorporated the simplicity of Excel into our scales. And we assume that maybe you would be having five or six scales in your organization in one location. And we would want to update the prices maybe from a USB disk. So again, uh, if you can come here, I'll just uh, do this. I'm going to again clear the, pr the PLUs from the system. And so I enter the password 654987, which is the password presently designated for clearing all the PLUs. So I'm going to be deleting all the PLUs. And this particular USD is presently having the same Excel file with the old values, of course. And I'm going to be putting this onto the system and try to read the values from uh, the Excel that's, uh, that's inside this. Okay, so 